Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the video. As you can see, we're jumping right into the workout here. For today's workout, I am doing some preparation for a 2K attempt. Uh, this workout in particular is intervals of 600 meters. Uh, since this recording, which was recorded about two weeks ago, I've done this workout two more times. Last week, we upped the distance to 700 meters. And this week, we have decreased the distance to 500 meters, but also decreased the rest. In the description below, I'll write down these workouts. So far, I've really enjoyed them. I believe that they've definitely helped my endurance on the rower so far. I'm really excited to see where my 2K is at now. I believe maybe in the next couple of weeks, I'll give it another attempt. I have a goal for 2019, and that's to get my 2K time down to 5 minutes and 55 seconds. I know it's a very lofty goal, but I'll be extremely excited if I'm able to achieve that result. For this workout with a 600 meter intervals, I averaged a 133.2. The next week for the 700 meter intervals, I averaged a 131.8. And for this week's intervals with the 500 meters, I averaged a 129.9. For the weight session today, we are focusing mostly on shoulders. Uh, the workout starts off with handstand wall push-ups. We're doing four sets of 10. As you can see, I've split the screen here. There's two different variations you can do. You can do a strict press, which is on the right-hand side, and more of a kipping press, which is on the left-hand side. I definitely find the strict repetitions quite difficult. So if you're unable to do 10 repetitions, I would definitely give the kipping press a try. For the next workout, we're doing overhead barbell press. Uh, this is a five by five. Again, I'm gonna be doing some warm up sets here. Uh, I do one warm up set at 135. For my first working set, I upped the weight to 155 pounds. This is definitely one of my favorite shoulder workouts. Over the years, I've definitely seen some results in terms of shoulder growth. So for my second, third, fourth, and fifth set, I upped the weight to 185 pounds. With this workout, it's very important to keep that core tight. Uh, I find if it's not tight, you can definitely hurt your back by leaning back too far. As you can see, I'm keeping my legs completely straight. If you're using your legs to help push the weight up, it's actually called push press, which is a completely different workout. In the description below, I'll put a link to a video which kind of goes over more technique tips for this lift. With 185 pounds, that's definitely at the upper range for my five repetitions. As you can see on my last set, I actually fail on the last rep. The next workout, we have a superset. We have dumbbell lateral raises paired with front plate raise. For the dumbbell lateral raises, we're doing four by 12. Uh, I use 25 pounds here. My goal here is to get 12 quality repetitions, so I try not to have too heavy of a weight. For the front plate raise, we're doing as many reps as possible. I'm using a 45 pound plate. One key point for this workout is we're trying to keep our core nice and tight so we're not doing any rocking while we're lifting the plate. And for the last shoulder exercise, we're doing single arm dumbbell shoulder press. The working sets here are four by 15 at 50 pounds. By this point in the workout, your shoulders should be pretty fatigued. So again, if you have to really drop down that weight to make sure you get all the reps, feel free to do so. The last lift of the day, we have some tricep pushdowns. Again, we're doing a four by 12. I'm doing 150 pounds here. And to finish the workout off, we're doing a superset for core, we're doing cable crunches, and we're doing hanging leg raises. 
So for the cable crunches, we're doing 12 reps. Again, I'm using 150 pounds here. Then with the hanging leg raises, we're doing as many reps as possible for each set. This is one of my favorite ab circuits that I do. For hanging leg raises, I try and get as many reps as possible up to about 15 or 20. You'll definitely feel a burn in the abs after this one. All right, so that does it for the workout. I really hope you've enjoyed this video so far. I've now shared with you every workout that I do in my current program. If you're new to this channel, in the description below, there's a free downloadable link for my current push-pull legs program, which I've been doing now for about eight months. I've definitely seen some great results, so if you're looking for something new, something different, feel free and check it out. Uh, if you're willing to put the work in, it's a, definitely, it's a six day a week program. Uh, I definitely recommend it for, for anyone who's serious about their training. So I've received quite a few requests asking for videos on certain workouts that target individual parts of the body, more specifically my arms and forearms, which I'm going to get around to making. But if there's any other requests out there, feel free to leave a comment in the section below and I'll do my best to making videos for that certain body part. Uh, like always with my videos, uh, if you have any questions regarding my workouts, my cardio sessions, my diet, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below as well. I'll do my best to answer them for you. If not, keep on working hard in the gym. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care.